Or was this the plan all along just to have JC come out this Monday, or was he or did something check out that allowed him to? Yeah, just um, yeah, he just has a little bit of soreness, so. Um, Really not even in the bones, just in his kind of his overall foot. So just um, once the soreness went down, the doctors felt like, hey, we can begin to ramp him up. So took him off pup, let him do individual, and it'll be a day-by-day -day process till he's full go. Nice to have him out there. Good to see. Yeah, well, I think um, I know he wants to be out there, so it's great to have that. And also, you know, we kind of need, you know, need, need the rotation, need some more guys at corner so we don't burn those guys out. So great to see him trending the right way. I know the players look forward to this day, but as a coach, how much do you look forward to this? It's funny, um, last night, I don't know, maybe it was, I, I try to go to bed early, but my 10.30, Shaq was texting me about something, and he was just like, I can't wait to hear the pads pop tomorrow. So it's always good the first day. At the same time, they're always a little bit hesitant the first day. They're not really, they don't, they don't want to end up on the ground or do anything wrong. So over the next couple of days, I think we'll see, uh, we'll see the intensity continue to ramp up. But I mean, this is real football. You know, the rest of it is good. It's, it's great. It's great development, but this is where you find out, you know, especially with the young players, what, what they'll really do. What did you think of Baker and Sam today? How much in your evaluation do you take into account who's repping with the ones on offense and who's going up against the ones? Yeah, I think, uh, um, well, I know our, our evaluation will be, it'll be all in, in totality over a period of time. So any, any one day. So today, uh, Sam took the ones, Baker took the twos. There's, there's two parts to that. Sometimes you're playing with players that are a little more experienced when you're with the ones. You're also playing against um, players are a little more experienced, so I think you take that all into account. But we're not we're not looking at any one day for this. It's really it's really over time. And each guy on this team has a different thing they're working on. Both quarterbacks have things that they're working on at different times. So take each day and look at it. Try to give some improvement and see the improvement come. I think both guys are doing a job with good good job with that. Will yep. Yeah. So we decide these two days we'd flip it and then probably have those guys rotate on Wednesday. Yet, um, it's such a slippery slope for me. I want the offense to protect the football. I want the defense to take the ball away. I thought the play by Chin was an unbelievable play. So I want to see those plays by our guys. So um, I love the way we're holding the football now. Now today, down in the red zone, we had two balls to get on the ground. The one was a shovel, so it was incomplete. So it might have looked like a fumble. I think our guys reacted like a fumble, but it was incomplete. The other one was a pitch that I'm not sure who was wrong there. I had to go back and look at the tape with the guys. but. Uh, we, you know, part of winning the turnover battle is taking it away, but also protecting it. So uh, each one, you know, we try to correct each one, but I want to see our defense continue, uh, Joe, to, to punch at the ball. And, and you know, we, we had a lot of, you go back to last year, there's a lot of games where we had, we had the ball in our hands, we didn't quite catch it, didn't make the play, would have changed games around. So that's a real emphasis for us right now. Yeah, I, I've had I've had really no player say one thing to me about uh, the Guardian caps. I think they've just last year it was optional and they put those on. If I go back to I think my second or third year at, at Temple, I I put the Guardian caps on our team um, just to because it was just coming out. Um, I think it was my second or third year at Baylor. I put the Vices helmet, which was like the safest helmet. So I always believe in utilizing t technology to advance these players. Sometimes I think we the, the you know it might look like the coaches care about the health part of it. To availability to be on the field, and I do, but I also care about each player's health. And so anything we can do to lower the impact uh, to a player's brain, I think is important to do. So again, we've had no pushback, and I think it's been, uh, ho hopefully it'll be really beneficial for us. Speaking of the injury part of it, uh, there's been some talk about how players, now that they have the extra padding, they may hit a little harder, push a little harder, and then not make the readjustment back when they don't have them. Are you concerned about that? I, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know that. You know, I, if, the, if the scientists say it, you know, um, I'm just, I'm just kind of going to trust the science. Uh, that's one thing for me with everything in my life. I just kind of trust the science on it. So, um, uh, well, if, if I see something, maybe I'll raise it at some point. And again, it's only, it's only two weeks that it's mandatory. And like Xavier Woods came out today. I mean, he, he's flying around hitting, but he, he has one on. He doesn't have to wear one on. He chose to wear one. So, you know, it's each, each after, after the uh, mandatory time, it's each player's decision. Matt, on Tuesday, you said the team wasn't in. I, I think it's still so early. Um, we're rushing the ball really well. I think Coach Snow said it to me the best. This is the week where we find out if we can stop the run. Um, you know, 
this is a passing league. But if you if you want great if you want you know quarterbacks to not be great passers and take away the run from them and make them one dimensional, so we want to uh, we have to see that. But I, I think our ability to rush the passer, I, I can feel on the field that we've got great get off. Um, it's really to me right now it's kind of like hey can we can we strike and play our gap and two gap and all that. I've been pleased so far. I haven't seen anything that raises alarms to me. I, I think that that's a good group for us. That's a strength for us. I think you know through four days. Well, through four days, the whole group has been uh, has been a, a bright spot. Um, they know what they're doing. They're working really hard. Today in pads, it looked pretty clean. Now again, I think you saw there was one period on Saturday at the end where the offense it was like a, a, a blitz period and the offense struggled. Once the defense starts blitzing, it changes everything. You know, all those kind of sitting targets start to move, and then you have to really have poise. So it, it'll be a, a, a progression. We have some good competitions. You know. Uh, Brady Christensen, Michael Jordan, Nikki, all those guys on the left side. Um, uh, the center battle is going to be a good one. And then guys are also battling for, I want that second spot. I want this other role. So uh, the good news is we have depth in a group that we like. It's just more a matter of where they're all going to fit. How do, you, how, do you, how do you balance in, you know, you, you want to bring Matt Corral along, you know, but yet you're still trying to figure out who your starting quarterback is with the other two guys. And trying to get him reps in between seeing who's your quarterback. How do you yeah, it's, it's not easy. Uh, I was pleased with, I was pleased, like Saturday, uh, Ben and I sat there and talked afterwards. I was pleased with some of the things that Matt did on Saturday. You could see him coming along and getting better. And we try to do some things like the opportunity period at the end where we want to make sure we get him reps. I think when we get to the preseason games, we'll, we'll take advantage at different times of making sure that he gets reps. You know, Sam and Baker get most of the reps. PJ gets out there in the scrimmage on Saturday and he bangs a touchdown, right? Matt gets out there and he puts the ball right where it's supposed to be. So those guys are competitors. Um, we, we, as we, if you heard us say, we, we can't necessarily always be fair, but we're going to try to be just. And, um, uh, you know, they have to take advantage of the reps when they get them. I did not. Uh, I'll have to go back. You know, trust me. That's really not my area sometimes, too, so I'll have to trust those guys. But I know he had a pretty serious win. Look, I got caught in the wind, whether he struck it wrong. The great thing in that room for me is besides having, you know, uh, Chris Tabor and Ed Foley and Cedric Green, you know, three great coaches, I got, you know, you got Hecker, you've got JJ, you've got Zane. I've got real veterans in the room who, you know, are going to are gonna tell you, hey, this is exactly what was wrong. So, you know, Zane's been, Zane's been really strong so far. It wasn't all perfect today, but, um, you know, he'll, he'll make the adjustment. For this week, yeah, for yeah. So you know, a lot of things we're doing are off just off the GPS. You know, um, we have sort of a restraining line that we want to keep guys behind when they get past it, and then guys like Christian and some other you know veteran players, you know, we'll hold them from here to there. So uh, I think we have a good plan. Um, you know, we, we can communicate it with the guys, and even sometimes you guys might not necessarily notice it, but we might say, hey, this guy's 50% reps today. Just uh, it might be a young guy, like it might be Terrace Marshall, it might be. So we're trying to make sure that we keep everybody in a really safe, healthy spot. Um, you know, we like our team. We think uh, we think uh, uh, they practice hard. So when you have a team that works hard, you know, you don't have to grind them quite as much. You can trust them that they're going to grind themselves. So we're trying to be smart with it, you know, utilizing the GPS, the player load, as well as our eyes and how the guys feel. Are you going to say you're running Icky along slowly, or is it just Brady Christensen just that far ahead? I don't think we're bringing Icky along slowly. I, I think um, – I think you know, as a rookie, you you get opportunities, but you have to earn what you get. You know, you have to you have to fight and battle. And so, um, Icky's going to have to battle if he wants to be a starter. On he certainly wants to be a starter. Icky's going to have to battle. Brady's going to have to battle. And um, you know, we're just taking a very long approach here. We don't need to make these decisions like this week. You know, we we can give him some time. And first four days, if you're an offensive lineman, defensive lineman, the first four days were really it's like you know summer camp. I mean, this is this is where the football starts. So. We'll um, we'll see them as they go. Matt, uh, they a couple more. A, uh, six game suspension for Watson today. That obviously could impact, probably will impact week one. But more than that, as the guy you guys pursue, looking back at it now, I mean, did you think that you guys planned for the possible suspension, and were you satisfied with you know, the due diligence you guys did? And I, I certainly understand the question. I hope you guys understand. I'm not going to comment on someone on someone else's team. Um, you know, I think everything we did was first class from the top on down in terms of uh, everything that we've done. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm focused kind of on, on the guys that are here right now.
Yeah. No, we, we've done that before, but um, really what, what happens is uh, we meet every night and we talk about certain players. We have an alert list, a watch list. We have guys who are injured and, you know, guys who are full go, they're full go. Other guys, hey, we're going to limit this guy. If there's 12 minutes of individual, he gets eight minutes. Hey, this guy gets, at two, you know, like Davion Nixon coming off surgery, he gets two out of every four. So every player has a very individualized practice plan from a wellness and health perspective. And then from there, the coaches you know, identify sort of who, who do I need to get more reps to. But it, the, well, the, the, the wellness and health of our players comes first. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.